Hello everyone, welcome back to Starfield, where I've had a bit of an issue with my base, especially the landing of my ship near my base, and maybe one of you has an idea of how to fix that. But I also have been exploring New Atlantis a little bit more, and have discovered potentially what one commenter suggested was the hidden side to the city, and we'll get to that. But I also found out that I could make zero wire at this manufacturing station, so that's handy. Uh, so we can make various components including adaptive frames using that so I don't have to buy it at the manufacturers though uh, I've actually found more zero wire than silver recently, so that's uh, a rub But the cooking station also works though. The food is sort of like meh uh, So we do have the ability to make it but probably some skills will improve the efficacy of those But when I step outside uh, my ship is nowhere nearby. I just picked land at the uh, outpost, but the ship, well, it's pretty far away actually. It's more than 400 meters. And, well, that's a bit of an issue. And I try to solve it various ways, I'll show you in a sec. But I also add a few things to the base, including a water vapor extractor here that I'm trying to find a good location for. And that does take power. In the previous video on the base, I said that, well, uh, it the only thing I saw that could take power was the turrets, but that was because I wasn't. Uh, placing of these extractors or industrial stuff. So those usually need a resource vein, but I think the water vapor extractor works without one. And then I also decided to build a landing pad because my ship wasn't landing anywhere near my base. And I decided that maybe if I build a landing pad, it would work. Now the landing pad has limits. I think it's uh, 30 meters by 30 meters is the ship limit for the landing pad. I also, because the water extractor needed power, added a wind turbine so that we can get our power needs balanced. And so now our power is all right down there. Um, the pad does have a little X that marks the spot, but we need to figure out how to get our ship to it. And our ship should be within the constraints of the pad, in theory. So, I mean, What's the point of the landing pad if they are not going to make it so that our starter ship can land at it, right? I mean, that's just logical. Now, there are two different landing areas, and so that was confusing because they're both named the same. And here, well, we're not really close to anything. We were close to our ship, but we weren't close to the base. So I picked what I thought was the other one, but the order of the little icons has changed there, so that was a little bit confusing. But picking that one, uh, well, we are here in the middle of stuff, uh, well, nothing actually, and yeah, I, I, we're closer to the base than the ship, I, I see the base over there, and I wonder whether the ship happens to be at the landing pad, but it's not. Uh, it is far, far away again, and so that didn't work out. So both of the landing areas, presumably those were two different landing areas, though the icons got shuffled because they gave us different results. One was near the ship, and one the ship was far away. But when I picked the Gagarin outpost, it landed me. Uh, it placed me at the outpost, but the ship wasn't at the landing pad. Now, do I need to move the initial marker that we placed to mark the base near the landing pad, or at the landing pad, so that the ship will land at it? I don't know. I just don't know how to get the ship onto the pad, so I don't have to walk a huge distance, but you can see the marker like a hundred meters away from the pad, and maybe it just needs to be on it. I don't even know if I can move the marker right now, but anyway, that is a question to be answered for later, and maybe you guys have some idea. But anyway, the base building continues uh, slowly. I'm mainly doing the plot right now, actually, but I won't be showing you any plot things, because I want you to experience that for yourself anyway. We'll be doing non-plot things in the videos, even though I'm mainly spending my time doing the plot things myself, uh, and that includes the various subplots. Oh, I do discover that I can swim. This is my first time swimming in the game. Uh, the various planets have not had like big oceans or seas or even lakes or anything, so I haven't been able to try this out. Uh, I was sort of encumbered, so the oxygen depleted quickly. Diving I haven't tried. After that, I went to the vendor that's closest to our landing pad at New Atlantis, her, and uh, well, I sort of noticed this guy over here. This is a uh, minor thing about how to start a very small quest. Uh, he said something about being an art dealer. and But I passed him by, but I decided I needed some ammo from her, actually. And so I went back, picked up some ammo. And this time, uh, passing by him, I decided to talk to him. 
And so it's here's how that went. What passes as art nowadays. Indeed, I am. I've been an art dealer for most of my life, plying my trade all across the settled systems. It's actually why I'm here in New Atlantis today. I'll be delivering a piece of art to a very particular client later. However, I don't yet have the art in my possession. Actually, would you like to pick up the artwork and bring it back to me? I'll reward you for your effort, of course. A very simple sort of mission. Uh, I won't tell you how it goes. I'm, well, I'm not very familiar with the streets. You of can tell place. that there's something I'm dubious here, about this. See. I'd rather just avoid any trouble and have someone more capable to the exchange for me. Capable, huh? All right. Anyway, I decided to do it simply need and to decided to get to it immediately. The exchange has already been arranged, and you won't have to show any credits. And this is the it's mission that let me discover the seamy underbelly of it's New Atlantis no that I wouldn't have otherwise realized simple. was there because the entry to it is sort of obscure. You'll be picking up and maybe the there are many areas of New Atlantis that are sort of hidden away, tucked away, and difficult to discover. Or maybe this is the only She'll one, understand. who knows. Return the artwork to me, and you will be compensated. So, okay, very simple. And so I follow the markers, and what I discover is a little elevator back here. I've never gone back here. I, in fact, looking at that, I wouldn't have even thought that that was a functional door. And then there's the well, waterfall promenade, and then the spaceport, which is the level we're on right now. And so the well, which takes a little bit of time to load, uh, is this area here. And we've got a UC surplus. And basically, it looks like where all the pipes are. Not quite where all the sewage is, but, you know, right underneath the city, electrical conduits, and then people are sort of hanging out here. Um, I don't know if there's a whole lot to do here, except for the mission we've just gotten, uh, but there is at least a UC Surplus store and a trade authority, and so those are two vendors that you can use. Uh, potentially, there will be other missions involving this, I'm not sure. I'm still early on yet. But yeah, so New Atlantis, a little bit more complicated than I initially thought. And then I tried out the waterfall promenade, but nothing much seemed to be going on there. It was a nice view, but not worth the loading time. <laughs> not worth not worth going up there. I mean, uh, I appreciate it. Uh, here we've got a view of the city. Uh, we could probably jump down or something. Uh, but yeah, it is just a promenade and there is the waterfall and everything. Maybe, I mean, with the mission that I just got, we just randomly walked up to somebody who was muttering. And maybe we'd find somebody who was muttering around here if we had certain traits or something. Who knows? So, as I continue to roam around the promenade, that was... One thing I had a trouble with when it comes to my base, getting my ship close to the base or on the landing pad. And then one thing I discovered about New Atlantis, and it reminded me of the comment that there was more to New Atlantis than it initially seemed. And maybe there's other little areas tucked away, or maybe that's it. On that issue, don't give me any spoilers. I'll continue to explore. Uh, you know, after a year or so, if I haven't found it yet, tell me. Uh, but anyway, for now, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.